Hello there, today we're going to continue the conversation about subnet on IPv4 Class C network. First, we're going to talk about the slash 26 and slash 27 network. So, if you are beginning to study subnetting, we advise you to please check first our first video and then watch this one so you have the full understanding of both of them. So, slash 26 network. What you're going to do here is walk through a example as having this IP address we're going to determine the whole slash 26 network for it. So our first step is calculate the subnet mask and binary which is this one having 26 bits on the network portion activated and like this and 6 remaining bits on the host portion. Then we have the standard notation for the subnet mask that's going to be 255.255.255.192. Then you calculate the range, 64. Calculate number of the hosts is going to be 62. And the number of subnets is going to be 4. If you have any questions how to make these calculations, you can check the PDF file of this presentation and check our first video that we explain everything step by step. So now we're going to locate the IP address for each network. The network number 1 is going to start on 0 and end on 63. The network number 2 is going to start on 64 and end on 127. The network number 3 is going to start on 128 and end at 191. The network number 4 is going to start on 182 and end at 255. And this is it. This is the information that you need. After that you can start building the your subnettings with your mesh hosts and allocate accordingly to your needs. Now this last 27 network. We're gonna do the same thing with the same example. So first we're gonna start finding the subnet mask and binary. This is this one with 27 bits activated for the network portion and 5 bits for the host portion. Then we calculate the subnet in decimal, that's 255.255.255.224. Then we calculate the range, that's 32, the number of hosts, that's 30, and the number of subnets, that's 8. So with that, we can start allocating the IP addresses. The network number 1 is going to start on 0 and end on 31. The network number 2 is going to start on 32 and end on 63. The network number 3 is going to start on 64 and end on 95. The network number 4 is going to start on 96 and end at 127. Then the network number 5 is going to start on 128 and end at 159. The network number 6 is going to start on 160 and end on 191. The network number 7 is going to start on 192 and end at 223. The network number 8 is going to start on 224 and end at 255. Having this information, again, you are all set to start allocating each host for each sub subnet. Thank you all for watching. Check, for please, our PDF file of this video. Some exercises to practice your knowledge. And thank you all for again and see you on the next video.